So I kind of found my perfect niche here with the smaller college, the great bio program, and it suited my love for sports as well. Growing up, my dad, he's a, an eighth grade science teacher. So growing up, I had one sister, so I think he tried to turn us into boys. So he always had us out in the creeks and the streams, fishing, hunting, looking under rocks, looking at little bugs under there, and he loved to take us out. So from that, growing up with it, I kind of have a, a love for it. So it was great that I could express it here. Hellbender is a relative of the giant salamander in China. They are an amphibian, so they look like kind of like a salamander or a mud puppy. This is a pretty big one, and they're usually not orange. They're usually olive colored with speckles and a nice brown belly to blend in with their rock environment. Well, at Lycoming, we have, we're lucky to have a research professor who specializes specifically in hellbenders. So what we do is offer a program to go out and find hellbenders in streams around the area, and we monitor their, their growth rate, their progress, and everything, their population sizes, to see how they're doing, because they are prevalent here. And this is a type of salamander that not many people know about. They live under rocks, so we want to educate people mostly, so they, when they find them, they, they don't get scared and they don't kill them, because they don't hurt anything. They just they eat crayfish and kind of leave us alone. But they are pretty fascinating just because they look different from anything you'd probably see in the creek at all. Um, one of the years that I was a Clean Water Inst Institute intern, I got to work um, with the sustainability factor of biology. I got to go to a Solar Scholars Conference at Dickinson College and me and another intern, Tracy Curtis, teamed up with Dr. Mel Zimmerman and we got to write a grant, a $15,000 grant for the solar panels we have at Lycoming. So knowing that they're here and it was kind of a step in the right direction towards sustainability, I'm just really proud to be a part of the whole experience. At Lycoming, it's kind of nice because as an undergrad, because you're working so closely with your professors, it almost feels as it would be an, um, like a graduate student level because you get to take on some of your own projects. You get to be ahead of the research. You kind of get the experiences that maybe some other students at bigger colleges wouldn't get the, that experience. So um, I just feel really, really lucky to have, um, now I feel really, really sure of what I want to do with my life because I got to do it firsthand.